I consider it, as I look at the whole thing, a, you know, a major anti-aging uh, uh, overall effect and very, very important for diabetics because it specifically blocks like glycosylation and the carb carbonylization of, of your proteins and of your fats. And, and, and which you think, what, what I mean protein, it's your DNA, it's your enzymes, it's the cell walls. It, it's oxidizing that, creating free radicals. Lots, as they say, 50 times more free radicals. These are really important issues here. Yeah. And does it come in capsules or is it a powder? It's a powder. Uh, it's a powder. You take yeah. a quarter of a teaspoon. Quarter of a teaspoon is what you need to get you. How much do you? Any way you like it. Okay. One time a day? You just need it one time a day, yeah. Yeah, if somebody had a high hemoglobin count, like 8, 10, 12, would it have an immediate effect or is it more a matter of months, gradual thing? The traditional medical school teaching is it takes. Um, 120 days to undo the A1C, the glycosylation. And uh, our, our research shows it takes about three weeks. So at the end of our program, I've had people have a five-point drop in their A1C in three weeks. So, and I think it's very clear what goes on is, is that I'm not talking about carnosine because they're not actually using the carnosine in the program. I think when you cut out the sugar, there's a reversal in the process. So when they say it takes four months to undo it, that's assuming that you're kind of eating sugar. But if you have no sugar input, then the body tends to go back the other way. That's what I've observed. So really it can move much, much faster than the th medical theoretical model. Which is great news. Which is great news. So it's quarter of a teaspoon mixed by. Uh, you can have it any way you want. You can just put it right in your mouth, put it in water. It does, it kind of floats in the water. You can really put it with the rest of your supplements. Just put it into that mix. Yeah. I gotta ask because uh, what you're saying here is pretty big about uh, location. And I learned in the biochemistry. Pretty, pretty big about. What? I missed the word. I'm saying you saying a pretty a big thing about glycation that you can actually glycation yeah, glycation okay you can actually reverse it because I learned in the biochemistry you can only minimize the process. Okay. Yeah, it's a big thing. That's why I'm interested. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, reverse it. So you're saying uh, people have diabetes and have problems in the eyes. Uh, eyes, uh, arteries, neuropathy. Uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, kidney and kidneys specific. Absolutely. And I'll say that absolutely because I see it all the time. And not four months, three weeks. I experiment, you know, like clinically, that's what we see. You see what I'm saying? It's very exciting. It's very profound. Uh, and it really fits with what we know about the body. Is almost everything is reversible. But this is more than just reversible. I mean, this is biochemically re reversible. You know, uh, it's really quite exciting. That's actually what I'm saying. So it's more uh, use, useful than any facial cream uh, ever. Yeah, so what she's referring to is the cross-linking, and the answer is probably so. But I'm not concerned with facial cream. How about the fact of reversing Alzheimer's, OK? How about the fact of reversing all the cross-linkages that make you look old and wrinkled? But remember, what you see in the outer skin is also going in inside the body. Very significant. I mean, it's really exciting, yes. Two questions. So one, can anyone use this, or is there any contraindication, or pretty much, as far as you say, not that you need to be diabetic, but anyone can enjoy this? All I said is that I got interested because I saw it as a way of helping diabetics reverse their, their neuropathologies. I want to make it clear, just so you know, pretty much in three weeks, Kidney pathology, I mean, uh, it takes about three months to reverse eye pathology. I've had people come in who were legally blind, and in three months, their, their vision is returned. So we're, we're, we're talking real stuff here, OK? So that was up on, it was up on uh, YouTube. It is, and it's so easy. Yes, anybody can take it. Anybody can take it. 
Yes. No contraindications. And the other thing is... Everything, please hear what I'm saying. You didn't hear me talk about ozone therapy. There are contraindications. There are dangers. Everything I'm recommending is kind of toxic-free, so to speak. Unless you, you know, you can always make anything into an overdose. But at the doses I'm talking about, it, there really aren't a downside. What about muscle uh, strain or muscle pains? Or it, it helps with that. It helps with that. Chronic stuff that doesn't heal through time. Athletic uh, well, injuries that doesn't heal through time. It, it helps because it undoes a certain level of undoes scarring. They don't say that quite. Iodine is better for that, but yeah. I, I think that uh, it's more about the glycosylation and the anti-free radical and the cross-linking of protein, you know, are the big players here that does some of that. But not really for scarring. It's not really exactly for scarring. And the last question is, um, I think you kind of mentioned it, but I need more. Um, you can check out whether it's good for you or not. You can read the book, you can hear the lecture, but you can try. And then if you try, how long would you say within an average time would you get a feedback from your body that tells you you were missing carnosine? Since everybody's deficient, everybody's deficient. Okay. including meteors, it, it's it's like it's not. Would you feel that? Would people feel that? Uh, it, you're going to have more energy. You're going to have more clarity. It may take a few months to, to few see months. it. Remember, all these things are more subtle in a way. Sure. Okay. I think that's so more. It's not a few days or a few weeks thing. It's more of a long. Some time. people use it prior to athletic performance. They'll get a 10% increase in their athletic performance. I, I'm not interested in that. But yes, on that level, you can get chronic some effect. Disease, uh, chronic and chronically good health. Yeah. <laughs> Remember what we're talking about is optimal health. Yeah. yeah. You'll, you'll be next. Go ahead. Have you seen that borderline diabetes, like 110, 105, okay, we'll cause problem with the hearing? Hearing loss in high tones, about 4,000, well, 3,000, and can it, uh, I read about it, and can it do good for this thing? So, there's a really important point that is newer information, and uh, there's three, I call it the chronic diabetes degenerative syndrome, which I'm talking about Monday, okay, but I want to just answer your question. It appears, and I think glycosylation is a big part of that, that if you're above 85, I didn't say 110, I said 85, uh, you're going to have a 40% increase in heart disease. When you get above 100, you're increasing that. So what, what they're finding, which is really important, is you don't have to have diabetes to get all these symptoms. The glycosylation goes on with the spikes. Okay, do you follow what I'm saying? So if you're spiking, meaning going above 140, um, uh, dropping more than 20 points after a meal, you can get all the diabetes degenerative <laughs> syndromes, eyes and hearing is part of it. It's not a major player, but it's you know, part of it. Uh, um, atherosclerosis, kidney, neuropathy, even if you're running 110, it's not diabetes, but actually you're getting all the pathologies. That's the new finding. To follow what I just said, you don't have to have frank diabetes. It turns out that it's approximately the same amount if you're actually spiking. Because you're still increasing, and that increase is setting off all the glycosylation and so forth. So even if it's for an hour, you're, you're, you're setting off processes that in the end appear to be, and I'm going to just say, this is what people are, you know, researchers are finding, not particularly different in the, in the extent of pathology as if you had frank diabetes. <laughs>